This is a broadly depressing video, but I do want to start it out by saying I'm very happy for MatPat, I'm very happy for Tom Scott, I'm very happy for all these other ones who have announced that they are quitting or scaling back their YouTube careers. I think it is a tremendously courageous thing to do. I'm happy for them. Depressing part for me isn't so much about them as it is my concerns for the future of YouTube as well as the broader creator space. This isn't really just about YouTube. Um, I've always been worried a little bit as a viewer, not as a YouTube video maker person. I've not been doing this long enough to be in the category of many of these people. I've been worried as a viewer for a long time. What the broader effects will be of doing YouTube for most of their lives. On both themselves and on entertainment culture and how people view it. I'm not so much worried about the massively successful ones that have already probably made enough money that they're able to retire and probably never work again if they want to. I'm more worried about those mid-sized creators who are probably making a pretty good living, but they, they can't really just stop and not go do something else. They are doing this because that's what puts food on the table every week. It's what pays the bills. It's what pays their health insurance every day, everything in that vein. I'm more worried about those creators than I'm worried about the massively successful ones. Just because we have not really seen an internet landscape where these successful semi-public figures have truly aged yet. I know there's a lot of creators from the olden days of YouTube who are like, I'm so old, I'm 35, blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, buddy. I'm younger than that, for the record, but I just, I, I, I think it's hysterical when someone who's, who's 35 is like, I'm an old man in the, in the world of people who live to be 80. <laughs> like, we haven't seen what old people on YouTube in mass looks like yet yeah, there are some exceptions some people who started youtube at much older ages but they are the minority and i think about the people whose entire life is video making it is what they do they stream they produce videos they this is what they do many of them are not going to stop until the time comes for them I'm, this is a dark, horrifying thought that enters my brain, but I think we're going to see a not insignificant number of these people die while they're streaming from a heart attack or, you know, whatever gets them. And obviously that's horrifying for them in particular. It's, it's the worst for them, but what does that do for entertainment culture, a just the general landscape of the, the humanity on the internet. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good at all. I, I, I was going to, like, bring up particular names in this thought process that I've been, you know, going through my brain, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to single out a specific creator because this, this isn't about specific creators. I, I'm terrified of that future where we're going to see people probably in their 60s, 70s, even 80s and 90s on the high side for some people who are still doing this. Some of them every single day because it is what they do it is their it, 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 it is how their brain has been oriented and wired for the past 50 60 years of their lives that why would they just stop it's it would be inane to stop i don't think we've yet experienced as a broader internet yeah what what it looks like for 
old people and young people to be online at the same rate. Because right now, it's still more tipped towards young people. Because you still have a bunch of old people who did not have the internet as it exists today when they were children. And eventually, that balance is going to shift. I, I, I think... I don't think we're really ready for that version of the world. And obviously, by the time it matters, I'll be one of the old people. But I'm curious how the dynamic shifts between y today's young people and today's old people uh, online versus, you know, future young and future old people. Me being future old person <laughs> in this uh, dynamic. And just the the nature of that. I, I have to imagine at some point these platforms will have to step in and try and mitigate the likelihood of it happening. Uh, just just for their own sake, if nothing else. Because I should it should that happen? I don't know. I, is, is our, these, this is a ramble. This is a thought process that I've had for a long time and Matt Pat retiring, which is a very good thing. And not just because I, I like, let's say he did want to do this for the next 30 years. More power to him. This isn't you should retire early. Leave YouTube and blah, 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 blah. Nothing like that. Uh, that would, but I'm happy for him leaving, but that's him got him doing this got me into the dark thoughts of these concerns. And again, I know I said this was a more of a viewer concern, not a not a YouTuber concern. Uh, but you know, I, I get stuck in the thought process of, like, what would inspire me to stop? Because I don't make a living doing this. Uh, but I've also done enough at this point that I'm really not sure, like, why would I stop? Hey. <laughs> am i gonna be one of those 50 year olds posting every day i don't know <laughs> i know this doesn't this oscillates around having a point without having one i apologize for that but well sometimes i i post a video I do hope you have a nice day and uh, a more happy thought day than this one.